Welcome to another episode here on Your Digital Makeover. My name is Jerry Colbert, and in today's episode, I want to show you how you can utilize the snipping tool right here in Windows 10. And it's all coming up next. So in today's episode, I want to show you how you can utilize Windows 10 snipping tool to take little snippets or little screenshots, so to speak, of certain areas on your computer, whether that be on a web page, on your desktop or what have you. You can take just a whole picture screenshot or you can take a little snippet or a little screenshot of maybe just a little thing. Maybe you just want to, to copy a little thing out of a, a web search or what have you. So let's go right to it and let me show you how to do that. So, as you see here, I have uh, my desktop opened up here in Windows 10. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go down here to this search. And I'm going to type in Snipping Tool. Okay. And there's the app right there. Now, another way you can do this is by hitting the Windows key plus the Shift key plus the letter S. And that will open up the Snipping Tool. But for right now, I just want to kind of show you the snipping tool when I open it up as an app here. Okay, so we open up snipping tool and it's going to open up this little box here. And what you're going to do here is you can select which mode that you want to snip. Do you want a free form snip, a rectangular snip, a window snip, a full screen snip? Now, um, typically I do like a rectangular snip. Uh, you can do a window snip, which is basically just the, uh, the window that you're currently in. Uh, or a full screen snip, which is pretty much the whole thing, even if you have different windows opened up on your screen. Okay. I typically leave it on the rectangular uh, snip. And so how you do this is when you click on mode here and you select your rectangular snip, right? You're going to have this dialog box still here. You can minimize it if you want, but then it goes away. So typically, I don't use this snipping tool like this because, I don't know, it's just too problematic. What I like to do, though, is I like to use the Windows key, the Shift, and the S, and it brings it up. And you see up here at the top, I have rectangular snips selected. I have free form. Then I have the window snip, and then, of course, the full screen snip. So once I'm here... I can snip a portion of my screen like that and it goes into my clipboard okay for which then I could paste it inside of uh, whatever document I have open if I want okay now you know like, well, why do you want to take a snippet of your desktop well maybe you don't maybe you want to take a snippet of something else right let's say for instance I had opened up this page here and I was scrolling through Google and I saw this and I said hey you know this is kind of useful information and I want to take a screenshot of that right so what I do I hit the Windows logo key S and the shift key at the same time it sends me into the snippet tool and then I can just click over here and drag to here and now I've taken it to the clipboard and now I can paste it into Evernote or what have you, okay? So now I got me a nice little snippet of that section. Now also, conversely, I can, if I choose with the snippet tool, I can do a full screen snippet, okay? So now as you see here, it did a full screen snippet of, of what I was just on, okay? Also, if I want, I can take a window snippet like this and i'll just click here and now it's taking a snippet of just this portion here that i got now of course these look similar to the last one right well that's because i have my windows open up full screen so it's going to just take that full screen as well as the windows as the same uh, picture but if i had this down here like this maximized down like this and i did a full screen right and I click here, you'll see that the full screen encompasses the full screen, not just the windows. But if I choose to say do only the um, window snippet, 
So let's go ahead and get to window here, window snippet, and I just click here. Now when you look, all I have snipped is just that window that I was on, okay? Now also, you can choose if you want to with the snippet tool, you can also choose to be on the freeform snip, which you can just do it something like this, you know, and snip that portion. So then why would you want to do that? Well, maybe there's a reason. Maybe you want to do it a circular or something like that. And then you can paste it into whatever you want. So anyways, I hope this episode was useful for you. And if it was, don't forget to hit that like button right down below. And if you want to see more of these episodes in the future, make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell. With that being said, I want to wish you all a wonderful week. And I'll catch you next episode. Take care.